Okay. Now I resumed my recording and uh, uh, return again. Uh, our lesson today is about convexity, uh, convex sets and functions. And the quiz is uh, to show that Hessian of a convex function is positive semi-definite, like we showed in the lecture. And please, anybody respond with your voice to confirm just that the connection is working. Yes, we can. Okay, you. thank you very much. Okay, and move to okay to our slides. So I will go very briefly through the lecture and then we will start our uh, classwork. Uh, uh, okay, uh, just let me know that you hear me. Do you hear me? Yes, we do. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, just in few words, uh, uh, convex set is a set when together with any pair of points, the uh, interval of straight line between those two points is uh, included. And here is example of convex and here are examples of non-convex set. And the uh, convex function, if I have a function of X, so one or many variables, then if I have value in two points and uh, connect, with a linear function, then my uh, convex function is uh, less or equal to this linear function in between. Uh, and uh, in class, we uh, in the video lecture, you you saw an exa example uh, how to show that intersection of convex sets is uh, convex. Uh, so if we have uh, uh, several convex sets and two, uh, we, we check by definition. If I have two points which are in the intersection in my set, which I check for convexity, if they are in the intersection, then they belong to each of sets. C1, C2, and so on. Then uh, intermediate point belongs uh, also to each of those sets because each of them is convex. And uh, if this intermediate point with some particular uh, alpha belongs to the intersection, uh, to each set, then it be belongs to the intersection. And uh, what I suggest to do now. Uh, we can take uh, the second example, uh, sum of two sets. It also was uh, in the lecture, uh, like defined this, this example, and we will try to uh, show that it is true. So if I have two sets, this uh, small circle with everything inside, and uh, this uh, one more circle uh, again with everything inside. What is the sum of two sets? I should take a point from one set and the point from another set and uh, compute the sum and do this, this for every pair of points. And the question in the lecture what will be? form of this uh, resulting set. And it's easy to, sh to see that this is this uh, external circle and everything inside. How do I see it? If, if I take, for example, a point on this perimeter of the inner circle and add uh, any vectors from S1, 
I get small circle inside, yes, all these sums. And if I do it for every point, I get this uh, external circle. Uh, what we will try to do now, it's uh, using the same technique, uh, we want to try to prove that uh, uh, sum of two convex sets is uh, convex. Just try to follow this uh, idea. So I have uh, two points uh, X and Y from the sum and conclude the something where did they come from and show that their, uh, their convex combination also belongs to the set. I just uh, remind you what is convex combination of two points X and Y. It's exactly what is written here. It's uh, alpha X plus one minus alpha one uh, uh, Y when alpha is between uh, zero and one. This is called convex combination. And this is exactly what you saw gra uh, graphically. This is interval of straight line that uh, connects to points X and Y. So you, I propose you to start working. Uh, just uh, let's uh, see again. Please uh, put down your hands uh, because uh, we, we need to, to clean ev everything. And then uh, raise your hands when you are ready with this example and I will ask you to show it to everybody like we do, like you do usually in the class. And now if you have any any questions uh, and please feel free our, our meeting, despite that there are uh, relatively many students, but uh, not so many students are talking with teacher. So just feel free uh, to, uh, to, to be as in usual conversation. Even now, during my explanation and uh, after my explanation, if you have any question, any comment, it's good moment to, to ask. And uh, afterwards, uh, you will work. And, and show us, somebody will show us the solution. So any question, any comment? Then just uh, somebody reply with, please uh, reply with voice uh, for me to know that connection is working. Okay, thank you very much. You can start working and raise your hand when you are ready. I already see two hands the reason is that, uh, uh, those who already solved or just they forgot to put their hands down. Okay. Okay, so let's wait, let's wait. And uh, once more, I stop my recording and please just, I, I will stop it now, pause. Uh, okay, uh, any volunteer to show us his Asia. solution? Uh, tell me your name. I do. Uh, Tamir. Yes. Tamir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I will stop my sharing. Stop share. And you can uh, start your sharing. You see it? It's a bit hard to see, but I'll explain it in words. It's about uh, a little bright. Uh, Michael, did you resume the recording? Y yes. Uh, thank you very much. I did. And by the way, when you check participants, you 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 may see a red dot uh, near mine. I yeah I I think I, I did it. Okay, um, uh, we may try. It's a little bit challenging, but let's do. Yeah, but, no, uh, I'll explain it in words. I think because uh, just a second T technical note. The 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 best thing if you do on paper, uh, take pictures with something like cam scanner. It really I did. Good. This is what came out. Okay. Okay. Nothing to do. You you will de debug it later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway. Let, let's um, try. Yes. Yes. So I marked. Um, we have x as a, an object as sum. It's it's a sum of some x one and x two from the original c one and c two spaces groups. Yes. Because that's why it, it was formed. Same thing for y. It's a sum of some y one and y two, and then the term a x plus one minus 
alpha x plus y mi one minus alpha y is uh, I opened the parentheses and uh, put in the x1 plus x2. And this is what, what came out. It's the alpha x1 plus the alpha x2, that's the alpha x, plus the one minus alpha y1, y minus one minus alpha y2, that's the one minus alpha time, times uh, y. And uh, we can say that the alpha x1 plus the one minus alpha y1 are from c1. Yes. Because that's the definition of convexity. Same for uh, alpha x2 and one minus alpha y2. And uh, this means that this entire term I wrote here, the, the last line is also a sum of two elements in C1 and C2. And uh, that's the, that means the, the entire thing belongs to the sum of C1 and C2. Okay, very good, Tamir. Thank you very much. I, I, say, I hope that it's very clear ex example. We, we don't have to discuss it too, too much. I, I will resume my sharing. Okay, you. Okay, I will resume my sharing. Just a second. This is okay. And now uh, I propose to move to uh, example number four from the lecture. I, I have a function, a convex function. Uh, you you know we, we write here from C to R, from some convex set uh, to R, but for, forget about C. We we have a function from uh, I would say maybe can I write here? Uh, let me try annotations. Uh, uh, let me. See. Second, from R uh, N, from R N to R, okay. Uh, and uh, what is level set? Uh, in 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 our case, because it's to R uh, from R N, it's particular case. Yes, our. But it will be less uh, writing, just e e easier. So, <laughs> so sublevel set uh, in the lecture we call it level set, but sometimes people uh, they call it sublevel set. It's all the point where our x is uh, less than some uh, constant alpha, and uh, I uh, did uh, an uh, example here. Uh, for for example, uh, like in geographic map, if if I have uh, a line, this blue line, uh, alpha uh, f, just a second, f of uh, x equal alpha, then uh, everything inside it's uh, should be f of x less or equal alpha, and. Uh, I challenge you try to prove it, and again you can go by definition. You just uh, take two points, and I change uh, color. Okay, for example, you you take two points, which uh, each of them satisfies that f of f of x less uh, or equal alpha, meaning it uh, belongs to sublevel set. And show that all this line, uh, any convex combination of those two points, also satisfy our condition. I almost solved for you. Uh, you can start working and let me know when you are ready. Okay. Uh, any question? Any comments? And I need voice of somebody to know that I'm not alone with my Zoom. I just didn't really understand what is about the modification you did in the. In the function range, in the, uh, no, no, I in the, really uh, I, I did modification in domain. Uh, yeah, yes, here, here the domain was convex set C, and I see the domain of my function is the entire plane in in this picture. Yes, but sublevel set is something uh, like this in my picture. 
Okay, is it, is it clear enough? Okay, and this uh, level set is about the f, f of x uh, equal uh, alpha? This uh, is the def definition? The, this is... Uh, we, 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 we have uh, in mathematics sometimes a little bit confusion. Uh, so uh, you, you know in geography you, you have... Um, how would say elevation uh, lines? Contours. Elevation contours, yes. But it's not, yeah. not elevation, it's uh, some other name. Uh, can you remind me? Okay, elevation contours. Uh, the lines with equal elevation. But what, what we call uh, level set in our lecture, this everything inside this line. Okay. All points when okay. f of x is less or equal alpha. Okay. So it's uh, not just a line, it's uh, some kind of plane or uh, 2D. Everything plane. with blue. Everything which I okay. marked here is with, with, with blue. And uh, show that uh, all this area is convex. By the way, I, I have a question. If if I have some line, I, I will put it in other way, in other place. You have if I have set of points which is just a line, is it convex set like I drew it? No, it's not because you can take a point. If if I take it, two points just, on the line, yes, and connect yes. them. I should use oh, uh, now okay. again blue color, for example and uh, connect those two points yes this is uh, this connecting interval it doesn't belong to my red set yes so uh, with the uh, sub level I, I it's better to to change everything called everything sub level set it will bring less uh, confusion so we show that sublevel set is a co is convex set. Okay, you can start working and again raise your hand whenever you are ready. Yes, and for for those I, I see not not very many people uh, solved. Uh, I just give you a reminder uh, to have here in front of our eyes what is definition of a convex function yes that uh, my function in intermediate point uh, between x and y yes is less or equal than linear function alpha f of x plus uh, y minus minus alpha f of y and just uh, try to go with this definition to our problem and see that if uh, one point uh, belongs to sublevel sets, it's f of f of x is less than alpha, and f of y is less than alpha. Then what will happen? Uh, I just give you both hint. Uh, what will happen with this expression in the intermediate point? Whether it will be ah sorry wow I I, I confuse confuse it here we have alpha so I have to use some other letter. Uh, you can use T. Lambda or T. We, we can use here T. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, let's... Okay. Yeah, everything is everywhere. I should put T. If. Uh... Oh. Get back to drawing. F uh, of t x plus one minus t y, and here t f of x plus one minus t y. So I give you really bold uh, hint. What should you check? You should check then when t between zero and one, then this expression. Also, is less than alpha. If, uh, 
I almost solved. I, I want a little bit more hands because usually in our physical class, we had the half people solving example and only afterwards we asked to show. Okay, and uh, one more minute. Very good. Hands are coming. You should know this is most pleasure for me to see more reason hands. But don't try them just to show to give me pleasure. <laughs> okay, so any any volunteer please uh, say it in voice i can uh, show my solution uh, you uh, uh, this, sh should i speak again mick uh, yes yeah, well, what's your what's your name ah, my, my name is michael ah, i see you only see my uh, okay my address. okay okay uh, ju just a second i will stop my share Stop share and uh, you can start yours. Okay, can you can you see it? Uh, yes, yes. I hope others also see and hear you. Okay. I need some voices. I need some more voices from audience. Please, do do you see Michael screen sharing? Yes, we see it. Okay, sure. thank you very much. Okay. No, some Thanks. background to. Too much background in the class, it's not good, but too quiet, it's also not good. Okay, okay. so please show it. Uh, so here I define the set of a uh, level set, like the collection. This is the just the definitions that you gave us. Mm -hmm. And we take two points in this set, x1 and x2. And it means that f of x1 is less than alpha and f of x2 is less than alpha. Now we look at a, a linear combination of these two uh, points. I use beta, not t, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, beta is the t uh, in the. Okay, okay, no, no, you can use your your notice. And uh, f of this combination y is by the definition of uh, by the convexity of uh, f. It mm -hmm. is less than the linear combination of the values of the function. Mm -hmm. And because each of these terms, each of these f's is less than uh, alpha, then all of this expression is less than, is lower than beta alpha plus one minus beta alpha. This is because x1 and x2 belongs to C. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, f of the combination is less than alpha. So beta so, just uh, beta just cancels. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this combination belongs to C, and C is convex. The okay. convex. Okay, Michael. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any any question? Any comment? Uh. Okay, I will get back to my screen sharing. Just a second. Ah, all my drawings disappeared and this is good. This is good that they dis di disappeared. I, I, I only want to add uh, something. Uh, one dimensional example. Uh, if I have my X, uh, I hope that you do, do you hear me? 
Yes. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, if I have those two points, uh, uh, for example, X and Y. Uh, and uh, here are the values of my uh, function. And for example, I have such a convex function. And here and here is this uh, straight uh, li 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 linear function, which is uh, this is uh, alpha, uh, not alpha, <laughs> beta, <laughs> beta f uh, of x uh, plus uh, one minus beta f of y for some intermediate point okay so we can uh, even see it graphically uh, what uh, by the way uh, what is the sub level set uh, just a second uh, okay sorry we, we we don't have sub, uh, sub level set but what we show that if uh, x and y is, uh, uh, is less than uh, if function uh, in our interval is uh, less than some level alpha, yes, in uh, every point of this interval, then of course this linear function connecting is also less than alpha and uh, convex function is below my linear function. It's just uh, a little bit geometrical intuition why it is uh, right what you call any 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 question any comment about my drawing was it helpful or not helpful at at, at all I'll also get this okay uh, now what's uh, let me update annotation and go to ah, I still have my drawing here it's interesting how ah, ah okay I should uh, remove uh, how do I remove an how do I remove annotation maybe here you can press the annotation. Uh, I, uh, maybe I should uh, just press uh, clear, uh, clear, yeah. clear all drawing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's go forward. And now we get back to the example which you partially used in your quiz. So assume I have. A convex twice differentiable function f of u and assume that I have other function p of x is f of ax you see it's very similar it's the same like example which we sold a week ago when we computed gradients and hessians we know the to compute gradient and Hessian of this uh, expression and uh, I ask you if I know that Hessian of f is positive definite matrix I want you to show that Hessian of p is also positive uh, semi-definite and this is one of the ways to show that p is uh, convex if everything is uh, twice differentiable so the, uh, this is the next question show that uh, the question of p is positive semi-definite you can start working or ask questions if you have any you you might uh, is is anybody who remembers uh, maybe uh, mainly those who are advanced in their homework already uh, who remembers uh, expression for gradient and the Hessian of P 
Maybe we will write I got a transpose yes. Hessian of the inner function and then uh, a. Yes, uh, let, let, uh, let us write everything. Uh, first of all, uh, gradient to have complete. Yeah. Gra a transpose uh, gradient of the inner function. Gradient of P. Yes, multiplied by a transpose to the left. Is uh, a transpose uh, gradient of F. Yes. And the uh, Hessian of P is uh, a transpose. A transpose. Hessian of F. We, we, we will write here no, number square Hessian of F multiplied by A. A, yes. So now my question is more concrete. I know that F is convex, and uh, so this matrix is a positive semi-definite this matrix is a positive semi-definite yes and uh, you should show that the entire matrix is positive semi-definite for any matrix a okay and start working and if you so let me know raise your hand right Stop annotation. Yeah. E participants. And uh, I, I, I will give you one more, one more hint. And 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 annotate. Uh, I just uh, remind you that if I want uh, uh, to check whether some matrix B is positive semi-definite, by definition, uh, for any X, for any vector X, X transpose BX, this is a number, yes? What is written here, quadratic form is a number for given X. So this number should be greater or equal zero for any vector x. You can use this definition, and I hope it will be rather easy. And can I also use a different approach, knowing that any uh, posit or semi-positive um, matrix has a Cholesky um, please, decomposition? Please, please go go in your way and. Probably we will show two, two solutions. Okay. Okay, thank you. So I, I resume the recording because I want really to give you hint by hint to let more people solve in the, uh, independently. Uh, so uh, we, we, we have a very general question. Okay. Uh, okay. We, we, we have a very general question. Assume that I have positive semi-definite any any positive semi-definite matrix C, and I multiply it by uh, like we told by A transpose and here by A. And uh, what what I sh uh, should try to show I just write it x here and x transpose from the left. And I want to show that this expression is uh, uh, positive, not non-negative. Let's wait a little bit more. I don't. I want more hands. 
to be reason. Okay, so who wants to show solution just a little with voice? I can show my solution. Okay, I stop share and you can show your screen. What's your name? Omri, can you see my screen? Omri, uh, not yet. You Maybe you should do one more click to say yes somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, just a second. Okay, now it's coming. Okay, yes. So uh, this, uh, we, we got this part uh, last lecture mm -hmm. and I just uh, multiplied the, the equation by X and the X uh, transpose from both sides. Yes. I defined A X as Y. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got Y transpose Hessian uh, y is a positive seven definite by definition. Mm -hmm. so you, you, uh, by the way, you, you, you can use your pointer. It's rather clear, but if you use your pointer, it's even be better. Do, do, can you point or, or if um, not, it's okay. Can you see my pointer? It's a bit small one. Oh, okay. Uh, doesn't matter. You have a rather small. Le let's continue. Yeah. So, um, We've got that uh, this equation equals this equation, yes. and by definition, uh, because uh, this matrix is a posit positive, se positive semi-definite, so mm -hmm. it means that uh, uh, this is a greater or equal to zero. Uh, for for any y, for any y, for any y, yeah. Yes. So that means that. Uh, the Hessian of uh, P is uh, uh, positive semi-definite. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, but by the way, I think I did I did the uh, mistake. Just let me get back to my screen share. I did mistake and nobody told me about this. Did we prove that uh, P is a convex function? I have a question to everybody. Wow, just a second, where, where is my... I think we said in part there were four um, characteristics and I think the third one was that um, if something is convex then AX is also convex. Okay, just a second. I lose my, well, I think this. Uh, I was wrong. And nobody told me about this. There's another question. Eh? Because uh, uh, Hessian positive semi definite, is it sufficient to show that function is convex? No, you can have a subtle point. It, uh, no, no, it's not subtle point. It's but uh, yeah, just a second. Ah, no, no, it, it's sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's everything okay. If uh, Hessian is positive, semi definite everywhere, then the, the function is convex. It, it may, uh, 
it uh, it is about the minimality condition yes if if you are staying in the point and question is positive semi definite then uh, the function uh, uh, then this may be not me mi not minimum yes but if uh, Hessian is positive uh, semi definite everywhere the function is convex so every for any, for any x at, at every point x yes at every point x okay i have a uh, question about the field but but uh, uh, just seconds uh, you you know maybe it's a good point uh, despite that we are close to end uh, maybe it's a good point to make uh, our usual 10 minutes break and then continue or, or let's finish uh, give me one more second maybe after the yeah, question yeah, yes uh, we, we we have more more work uh, okay 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 we, maybe we will continue with this example after the break we we are working uh, more than an hour so uh, 10 minutes break and then i waiting you uh, back so at uh, 5 42 we continue no problem Okay. Can you ask a I, yes, I resumed my recording. Is, is it uh, re related to to our example? Uh, no, it's uh, administrative. So I'll ask uh, the let, uh, let's move them if it's possible. We, we will have a reception hour immediately after. Just let me uh, just close my microphone if uh, participants. Mute all. Mute all current participants. Yes. Uh, so uh, we we will have a reception hour, like uh, after our lecture, uh, we start free mathematical discussion, and after that, uh, mathematical questions uh, interesting uh, particular people, and then uh, administrative questions. Is it okay? Yes, thank okay. you. Okay, let's do it in this way. Okay, and now let's continue with our example. Uh, uh, there was uh, somebody else who wanted to show with the uh, Cholesky factorization, how to prove that uh, this... Uh, I did it. I used it, uh, Cholesky. Okay. Uh, would I you like to show? Uh, I yes, should one stop my just. Stop there. So is everybody back? We, we, we are starting our class. Please mute your microphones and be with us. Okay, I can share now. Okay, so it's here. So, so basically, the, the what I said. Voices are from your from your room. I understand now. Yeah, so I'm trying to mute okay. myself whenever I don't talk. So, oh, okay. um, what I did is I know that um, the Haitian of F is positive semi-definite, and as we know, any positive semi-definite matrix has a uh, Cholesky decomposition. Uh, that positive is, de uh, let's stop for, for, for example. Any let, let's uh, think that it's positive definite because semi definite has some problems. Okay. But uh, I assume oh, so, it, so maybe it it's has. not complete. <laughs> but I assumed it has. So it ha it, I, I called it, it has, M transpose yeah. M. I uh, called it M transpose M. And, uh, and then okay, I get. Would you uh, like to use your pointer to, to move your pointer? Yes. Around. Yes. Um, yes. To to show with your pointer. Yes. Yes. Here it is. Can you see it? Yes. Oh, it's in a plus sign. But so basically, I said it's M transpose M, and this is the uh, this is what we get if we say that uh, we have A transpose M transpose M A, which yes. is another form of B transpose B, which is a gram matrix. Uh, and all gram matrices are positive semi definite as they are. Um, it, it's okay. it's obvious from the. the so you use your knowledge that uh, those uh, B transpose B gram matrices are always 
positive uh, stimulation. Okay, thank you very much. And we are, we even proved it now that they, they are. Yeah, it was okay. the exact uh, proof. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, should I show my screen maybe? No, just uh, if it's mathematical question. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let me one second. I really I know that it's better. It's quite often better to show on the slides or at least draw something. So uh, what is the question? Yes. The question is uh, when it will be strictly positive definite. Uh, can we say that if A is invertible, then the, there is no null space there? Uh, okay. Strictly, uh, strictly yeah. let, uh, let me try to think uh, about your qu uh, question. Uh, if. The problem, uh, I, I see the problem uh, I see just a second. I. I I will try to answer and you you correct me if I, my answer is not complete okay uh, because this is the general question uh, for maybe in uh, when uh, the hessian of f of some function f, okay can you repeat the question we, we couldn't hear it uh, the question was uh, where the, uh, let me answer and then we will understand the question first uh, first of all if uh, question of f is strictly positive definite yes uh, this is the this is called the strictly convex function We don't need for uh, an environment. We, and uh, if uh, we have, a, if it's se separated from zero, if uh, I have a other condition, Hessian of F greater or equal some, uh, I don't know, Epsilon multiplied by identity matrix. By the way, what this strange record says, do you know? Positive. You know about positive uh, semi definite or uh, positive definite, but what is this relation between two matrices? It's the same as say, uh, le, le, but let we, we, without okay, I is, is positive. This says uh, the the same as uh, uh, you told right. Uh, Nabla squared f plus epsilon i is a uh, greater than zero for some for some epsilon, and this function is called strongly convex. Uh, it's it, it's it to to say in other words, then uh, uh, Hessian has uh, eigenvalues, yes, and its minimal eigenvalue is uh, larger than epsilon, so it's uh, really strongly uh, uh, it's a strongly positive definite, I would say, roughly speaking. Why it's not minus between them? Oh, sorry, sorry, thank you. I should uh, erase. Uh, how do I erase eraser? Of course, of course. Thank you very much. My pen minus. Okay. Uh, and uh, if if a uh, Hessian of f is is. Uh, is positive definitely or strictly positive definitely? Can, uh, can I say any anything about a transpose uh, uh, nabla f? 
A. Can, uh, can I say that it also will be uh, according to the proof positive so, definite for for example? Uh, this is what I'm saying. There is a condition on A, right? It's, uh, yeah, it's there really should be a condition it. of A that A should uh, should be. Uh, of course, you can because you can uh, whenever you multiply it on both sides with x and x transpose, you can uh, treat x transpose a transpose. AX is just one vector and call it a different name. And right, but it's but, but uh, a, a should be, case, yeah, uh, the, uh, a should be ah, right. non right. de generative matrix. A should be non the de de degenerative mat matrix. It, 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 it means that uh, uh, for, for any X uh, non zero, yes, uh, AX. Should be also non-zero because otherwise, if a, a is si uh, such a matrix that from some x non-zero a x is zero, then all this expression will be zero. You understand me? Okay. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't. It doesn't have to be. Uh, I mean, uh, a square matrix. It can be rectangular. Okay? It can be a rectangular, but still uh, uh, we should be careful about uh, rec uh, rectangular. For, for example, this uh, Hessian of F is square matrix, yes? And uh, uh, if you multiply two matrices, uh, this the size and this size should be the same but uh, another size may be smaller yes we should, we should think about it when a is rectangular both cases are possible it, it may be rectangular in, in this way or maybe rectangular in this way so I, I just uh, leave it for your home consideration to play about uh, a little about it and say in which uh, cases, yes, we can uh, be sure that uh, all this uh, product is uh, remains uh, positive, strictly positive definite. Okay, it's just question for our home, home consideration. And I propose to continue. Okay, now I should maybe say it like this and clear all drawings and uh, move to the next screen. Ah, I need to remove this. And okay, uh, one more example. It's not difficult, but it's very useful. Uh, can we show that norm of X is a convex function? And uh, I remind you from the first lecture, uh, refresh of linear algebra, that we have a Euclidean norm that everybody knows, yes? The square root of sum of squares of components of vector X. We have more general P norm, Sum of absolute value in power p and everything in one over p. So when p is two, this is the, the same, but p may be even one or even infinity. And many other norms. We learned many other norms, and we will return to them to in our course. And we want to know the general, most general norm in mathematics is convex function. And for that, I should you remind just a second uh, the definition of norm in a general setting. So norm uh, is a non-negative function of x. It's uh, zero only when uh, x itself is zero vector. Uh, if I multiply it by uh, alpha. Uh, then uh, norm is multiplied by absolute value of alpha and also triangular inequality. 
triangle in in inequality norm of sum of two vectors is less equal than sum of norms so if a, if function satisfy all those require requirements it's a norm so all these examples in many more satisfy this uh, uh, requirement but let's try just uh, based on these properties to show that this function is convex just following from definition of convex function uh, I see that four participants write their hand it means that you are ready or you have uh, questions okay very good very good uh, continue working I, I will let other people to catch on and then somebody will show us solutions any question any comment Okay, who is uh, volunteering? Maybe of those who didn't show yet, and if not, then we will ask. Please uh, say it with voice if if you want to show us solution. No volunteers. I can show my solution. Who is it? In Bali. In Bali. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, let's wait. You you already showed yes. Uh, but I uh, show not not today on the previous lecture. Okay, okay. Then uh, I will stop my sharing and go ahead. Yes, I stop my share. You can go. Okay. Okay, can you see it? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, I am with you. Okay, so um, I'm looking at the norm of uh, alpha x plus uh, one minus alpha y, and by the triangle inequality, um, this applies. And um, by property three. Uh, just a second. Uh, it's it's better to say in 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 words. Okay. Uh, some of uh, you you have some of two vectors and uh, some of their norms is larger equal than uh, norm of their sum. Okay. Mm -hmm. And by property three with, with the scalar, uh, we can uh, move the scalar alpha and one minus alpha out of the norm uh, and get it in an absolute uh, value yes and uh, alpha uh, is between uh, zero and one uh, so one minus alpha is also between zero and one so we can drop the absolute value uh -huh. um, so we get that the norm of uh, alpha x plus one minus alpha y Mm. Uh, is smaller than alpha uh, the norm of x minus uh, one plus sorry there should be plus here yes. uh, one minus alpha uh, y uh, the norm. norm of y yes yes <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and uh, this is the definition of a convex function okay Valls, thank you very much uh, any any comment any question uh, uh, and for uh, for everybody don't remove your solution before people had the opportunity to ask anything any question any comment okay everything is very clear and uh, I think we we moved uh, today relatively fast and I think it was the last example I plan for today. 
So now we are moving to the next uh, uh, part of our lesson. It's after after lesson part. Uh, free this discussion. Do do you have uh, any first of all any question any comment about uh, the lecture? And uh, afterwards, uh, maybe you have questions or com comment about yesterday lecture and homeworks and so on. But say, first of all, uh, do you have any question, any comment? Oh, I stopped just a second. Let me start again my screen share. Uh, do, you, uh, do you have any question, any comment about uh, the lecture? This is a relatively basic lecture, so I hope that uh, everything is rather clear. Uh, what do you have? Usually I had some questions in previous year, or at least comments. Uh, just uh, re reply with voice anything to know that connection is working. Do you hear me? Yes, we hear you. OK, OK. So no question, no comment about this le lecture. And now uh, any question, any comment uh, about uh, previous lecture or homework or whatever you want. Mathematical and then administrative. Any mathematical question or comment? Wow. Okay, may, may, maybe I should, uh, maybe, uh i maybe it's good thing uh, let me for a second pause my recording uh, 